Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Um, welcome to the ARTA Benefits Plan um, presentation, um, looking ahead to retirement. My name is Jennifer Hope, and I am the Affiliate Marketing Advisor. And I'm also joined today with Gary Sawatsky, our Chief Operating Officer. And today we're going to talk to you a little bit about ARTA, um, as well as Gary is going to talk about um, our Retiree Benefits Plan and what you will receive if you join one of our retire retirement plans um, and all of the options available to you. Um, so if you would like um, me to send you one of our enrollment kits um, by mail, um, please email jhope at arta.net and send me your mailing address. And I will um, mail you one of our enrollment kits, which is a booklet that talks about all things Arta, it has some really great retirement advice in it. It has our contact information as well. Um, it also has an enrollment kit in the back. And the enrollment kit has one of our plan option brochures. And our plan options brochures outlines all of the plans available to you and what, what is in each plan. Um, it also has a rate sheet. And the rate sheet also provides um, the monthly premiums for all of our benefits plans as well as an application form. So if you want a physical copy, just email me your mailing address and I'll get one out to you this week. Or if you would like a digital version, um, just let me know um, at jhope at arta.net. Um, so just to get started on the presentation, I want to give you a little bit of information about ARTA. So ARTA was founded in 1963 um, as a provincial association for retired teachers. Um, however, we have expanded our offerings to um, similar groups such as um, the AMA. Um, so we have a public and private sector, which is where AMA fits in um, to ARTA. Um, so these groups um, have a similar have a similar risk um, as a retired teacher would. Um, so our public private sector is growing um, very fast. Um, we have over 11,000 affiliate members in those groups. Um, so we're proud to be offering our retiree benefits plan to similar groups such as the AMA. Um, our provincial office is located in Edmonton. Um, as of right now, we aren't open to the public, but in the next two to three weeks, um, we're hoping we can have um, all of our um, members or potential members come into the office and, you know, speak with one of our member services um, personnel if they wish to. It's not mandatory, but if you have any questions and you like doing it in person, um, very soon we'll, we will be open to the public um, and you can get some questions answered about membership or our retiree benefits plans. Um, so when you join ARTA, um, there is a fee to joining ARTA um, in our public private sector. It is $50 a year, and that is $4.17 added on to monthly premiums if you are part of the retiree benefits plan. Um, and with your ARTA membership, you do receive some really great ARTA membership advantages, um, such as our member discount program. So we have partnered with Boom, and Boom is a discount program that offers some really great discounts on a variety of retail outlets, hotels, um, car rentals, um, different events um, and attractions that you can go visit. Uh, so if you use your Boom discount program card, you know, once or twice, your membership will have paid for itself. We also have a really great partner in TW Insurance, um, insurance brokers, and they offer our members some discounts on home and auto insurance. They also have some life insurance options that are geared towards our membership. So uh, we also have some travel partners that we have um, partnered with that offer discounts on travel tours and excursions. So with your Art of Membership card, you do get some really great discounts um, on a variety of platforms. Um, wellness is one of ARTA's strategic goals, and we like to support that strategic goal for our membership by offering a variety of uh, wellness initiatives. We have an annual um, walking challenge or physical um, wellness challenge where members can submit their time or steps spent on physical activities and receive some really great prizes. We have a photo contest where members can submit their work, and their work is published in our News and Views magazine. Or if writing is more your thing, we have a writing challenge where members can receive some really great prizes, um, as well as a mental wellness challenge that is relatively new to ARTA because we understand that mental wellness is very important um, amongst our membership and everybody. 
Um, also, when you join ARDA, you're able to um, take part in our really great scholarship program. So our scholarship program is offered to our members' family, whether it be children, um, grandchildren, nieces, nephews, um, any direct relatives um, can submit their application to our scholarship program. Um, and they may be awarded um, part of the $40,000 um, prize money. Um, and our scholarship winners are selected by our selection committee, which is comprised by uh, of retired teachers. Um, so this is just our way of supporting um, education um, for your family members, whether it be children or grandchildren or whatever it is. So it's a really great program that is available to our ARDA members. Um, we also like to make sure that our members are always um, informed and connected on what is happening at ARDA. And we communicate in a variety of ways. We have our News and Views magazine, um, which we um, publish every season. And you can either get it digitally or it is mailed out to our members' mailboxes. And our News and Views um, magazine has some really great articles that are relevant to our membership. Uh, we talk about all things traveling, gardening, any updates that is happening with the Retiree Benefits Plan um, will be in our News and Views uh, magazine. We also have an artifacts email newsletter, which is, um, which is um, distributed to our members' um, emails um, monthly. And this email newsletter provides any updates that happen within ARDA um, or anything that our partners would like to communicate. We even have members that like to advertise different vacation properties within this newsletter. So this newsletter is just another way to communicate to our members. Um, we are current on our website, arda.net. Anything that you need to know about ARDA, strategic goals, um, any, any updates on the ARDA, ARDA benefits plan is on arda.net. Or we also have another website, artabenefits.net, which I'll talk about a little bit later. Um, and this artabenefits.net is where you can go apply online, uh, build the benefits plan and find out the rates. We're also very active on our social media channels, um, Facebook, Instagram, uh, YouTube, and LinkedIn. Um, so when you become an ARDA member, you will be sure to always get all of the updates that, are, that is happening at ARDA. So just a bit of a background on the ARDA Retiree Benefits Plan. The plan was created by a group of retired teachers who wanted to create a benefits plan that was more conducive to retired teachers' lifestyle or a retirees' lifestyle. Um, we know that retirees love to travel. You don't need to worry about vacation time anymore. You can travel whenever you want. So the, uh, the plan was created to include um, an emergency travel coverage um, plan. Um, and this plan is very unique um, and competitive. Um, there are no pre-existing conditions or stability clauses built into our emergency travel coverage. Um, and Gary is gonna um, go into more detail about our emergency travel coverage. Um, just know that it is very, um, it is very unique um, with not having these pre-existing conditions or stability clauses. There are a lot of plans out there that require you to be stable for 90 um, to, I've even seen um, 365 days. Um, but Gary is going to go into that a little bit more. Um, we are a not-for-profit organization. Um, many, meaning all premiums that come into ARDA, go back into administrating the plan, um, paying out the claims, and adding on more benefit plan items uh, when we can. Um, there are plans out there that do offer you a discount. We can't offer our members a discount um, as we do not have any profit margins that are built into our plan as we are not-for-profit organization. Um, so joining ARDA is easy. Um, there are some eligibility um, points that you must meet before joining ARDA. Um, for, and so for, for AMA, um, you will have had to participate in the AMA Health Benefits Trust Fund. Um, for at least two years. Um, you can join at, uh, there's no minimum age requirement as well as no termination age. Um, there are some plans out there that won't cover you past the age of 85. Um, ARDA will cover you for as long as you need. Um, we, our, our eldest member last I checked was 104 years old. So um, there is no termination age. So that's something unique to the ARDA retiree benefits plan. 
Um, surviving spouses are able to take part in retiree benefits plan. So if you were eligible, they're able to join. And if something were to happen to you as the primary card holder, your spouse is able to continue on um, receiving art of retiree benefits. Um, so that's another um, sort of unique factor in the art of retiree benefits plan is that your spouse is able to continue on coverage um, if something were to happen to the primary card holder. Um, you must be a, a Canadian resident um, covered by your provincial or territorial health insurance um, in your province of residence. Um, if you decide to retire in Alberta and you receive Arta Retiree Benefits Plan um, and decide to get out of these um, cold winters uh, and springs um, and decide to move to BC, your Arta plan will follow you um, just as long as you are um, participating in your provincial um, health plan. You can move to the east. Um, anywhere except for Quebec, your ARTA plan will follow you. So when you decide that you want to become an ARTA member, the application procedure is also very easy. Um, you, I always suggest that people submit their application to ARTA um, about four to six weeks before losing um, your group plan. Um, just to make sure that we have all of the information that we need, um, that you have selected the correct information. Um, so four to six weeks is a really good time to, you know, start thinking about getting your application to ARDA. Um, the, it is very important that you submit your application within 60 days of losing um, your employer-sponsored group coverage. Um, if you want to take part in one of our plans that offer a really great emergency travel coverage, um, you must apply within that 60 days because if you apply outside of that 60 day window, um, you would have to fill out a, um, a, medical, um, a medical form, which is um, administered by our emergency travel partner, Allianz. And depending on your health, you may or may not be accepted into um, one of our plans that um, have emergency travel coverage. But if you apply within that 60 day windows, you will not be asked to fill out any medical any medical questions. Um, there are some people that once they retire from their profession, um, they decide to go on and work at maybe, maybe um, an employer that, you know, fulfills their hobbies, such as a Home Depot, or maybe a limo driver or whatever it is. And if they offer group benefits, um, you can take those group benefits and have them pay for your premiums. But once you do lo lose those group benefits, make sure you apply within that 60 day window. Or if you decide to retire and your spouse is continuing working and you can, you know, piggyback onto their group benefits, um, you're able to do that. But once your spouse loses those, those group benefits, which you're a dependent on, um, make, still make sure that you apply within that 60 day window. Um, the date that you indicate on your ARDA application that you're losing your group benefits, um, that the day that you put on your application that you want your ARDA benefits to start is the day that they will start. Um, we don't have any waiting periods. We don't want anyone to have any um, lapse in coverage. So just make sure you get that application in about four to six weeks, but that 60 day window is very important to remember to get your application um, into ARDA. Um, I'm just gonna pass it on to Gary now and he's gonna go right into our plans and what is available to you to choose from. Thank you so much, Jen. As Jen mentioned, we have a lot of plans available to you. We recognize that not everyone waits until age 65 to retire. A lot of people retire when they have not yet reached age 65. So last November 1st, we rolled out special plans specifically for people under age 65. As Jen mentioned, the plans that we had in place prior to November 1st were really designed for people age 65 and over who had some base coverage through their provincial health care plan. If you are retiring and you're not yet age 65, one of these plans may be more appropriate for your own personal and family's benefits needs. Or if you want to take one of the other plans that uh, are the historic plans that ARDA has provided, those are available to you as well. Those do not have a minimum participation age, nor do they have a maximum participation age. They don't terminate at any age and you can be age 80 and come into one of those plans. If you want to keep working until age 80 and then join one of our retiree benefit plans, you can absolutely do that. These comprehensive plans though, do terminate at age 65. 
because they're designed for people who do not have that base extended healthcare coverage through their provincial plan. Next slide, please, Jen. So this provides a, a fairly detailed summary of what's covered under each of these benefits. We have four plans available for people under age 65. These are the three uh, most common plans. We also have one we call our primary healthcare plan, and that's designed for people who are coming into the plan who did not have coverage prior to joining the plan. They are uh, very base plans. They don't have fantastic coverage and they have limited travel insurance coverage, uh, but they are available to you without medical evidence of insurability. The great news is once you participate in that primary health plan, you can upgrade your coverage into one of these, either the core health, essential health, or enhanced health without medical evidence of insurability. But again, you do have to participate for three years before you can do that. We provide 80% coverage for most of the extended health care benefits. We do cover hospital coverage at 100%. Uh, we don't want our members paying out of pocket for any hospital expenses. So those are covered at 100% for private or semi-private rooms. An overall maximum of $10,000 or $15,000 per year is included with each of these plans. Prescription drugs from $1,500 per year per person up to $5,000 per year per covered person. We cover frames and lenses under the vision care benefit from $200 every two years to $500 every two years. We cover hearing aids from $700 to $1,100 every three years. We cover paramedical practitioners from a combined annual maximum of $750 per year up to $1,500 per year. Now, our benefits are a combined annual maximum. We don't provide uh, individual maximums for certain paramedical practitioners. For example, some plans may offer only $300 for massage therapy claims per year. With our plan, it's combined, and we cover 14 paramedical practitioners. So if you recovered for enhanced health and wanted to go to the massage therapist and spend all $1,500 per year, that's entirely up to you. If you wanted to go to each of those 14 practitioners and spend $100 at each one, that's entirely up to you too. I can tell you that on average, our members use 1.51 paramedical practitioners per year. So even those that may cover seven or eight practitioners, they cover at $300 each per year, unless you're going to at least five or six of those paramedical practitioners, you're coming out ahead with our combined annual maximum strategy. We cover medical aids and devices. We'll provide a rather comprehensive list of what's covered under those in a moment. We provide private duty nursing coverage, accidental dental, uh, in case you receive an accidental blow to your mouth, Diabetic supplies up to $1,750 per year, uh, CPAP, BiPAP, breathing monitors from $500 every five years to $750 every five years. Next slide, please, Jen. We cover wheelchair and mobility scooters up to $1,500. Uh, ground and air ambulance, uh, the hospital rooms that I already mentioned, orthopedic shoes, foot orthotics, uh, we have a member assistance plan. If you currently participate in an employee and family assistance plan, you're familiar with what our member assistance plan is. We provide up to five hours of counseling per covered person per year through a partner group of ours. And everybody covered under one of these extended healthcare plans automatically has coverage through that member assistance plan. These three plans offer our 92 day emergency travel plan, as Jen mentioned, we have no stability clause and no pre-existing conditions clause. So we'll cover you for your pre-existing conditions as long as your uh, any reason for a claim during your trip is considered sudden and unforeseen. And I'll speak way more about our emergency travel coverage in a moment. If 92 days isn't enough, we also have single trip coverage to extend your base 92 day trip up to 212 days, and I'll speak more about that in a moment as well. 
These plans also include embedded dental care benefits. We offer uh, three levels again. Uh, the core health provides 80% of your basic preventative and minor restorative expenses up to a combined annual maximum of $1,000. The essential health is the same as core health, but provides a higher annual maximum. It's $1,750 per person per year. And enhanced health offers additional coverage for major restorative, that's dentures, implants, crowns, uh, prosthodontics, partials, dentures, as well as orthodontics. It covers 50% of orthodontic benefits up to $2,000 lifetime. And the combined annual maximum for the basic and major is $2,000 per person per year. The build your own plans are those plans which ARTA has been provided to our members since 1995. As I mentioned, they're really designed for people who have some base coverage already in place. Uh, typically through the Alberta Healthcare Plan for Seniors. Uh, every Albertan gets that once they turn age 65, and it provides a good basis of some of the essential benefits that you could be claiming uh, as a senior, especially around prescription drug care. Uh, prescription drugs are covered at 70%. Uh, you pay the other 30% out of pocket up to $25 maximum, as long as the drug is included on the Alberta drug benefit list. If it's not included on the Alberta drug benefit list, we'll cover it at 80%. So if it's a drug included on the ADBL, you can essentially get 100% coverage through the seniors plan and our plan combined. If it's not on that list, we'll still cover it at 80%. We don't use the same drug benefit list as other plans like the, the retiree plan or the Alberta healthcare plan for seniors plan uh, or the Blue Cross retiree plan for that matter. And again, we have a lot of options for you. So you can select the level of coverage that best suits your needs. We have four different extended healthcare plans. Two of the plans include travel. Two of the plans do not include travel. We also recognize that as our members get older, they usually stop traveling at some point. It's usually between the ages of 80 and 85. So if they are not going to travel anymore, we don't see any need for them to pay for travel insurance so they can downgrade their coverage uh, so that they no longer have the travel. The uh, additional coverage is available as well. Uh, if you want higher coverage, we have higher uh, annual maximums available through our enhanced coverage plans. I can tell you total health is the most popular plan we offer that provides good base coverage as well as the emergency travel plan coverage. Uh, the ultimate health is the same as total health, but offers some higher maximums as well. If you select one of these plans, or once you select one of these plans, you can then select your level of coverage for prescription drugs, either $1,200 per person per year or $2,000 per person per year. Those may not look very high, but keep in mind, these plans are designed for people who already have public coverage in place. So as the second payer, we can make that $1,200 or $2,000 go pretty far. As a matter of fact, uh, last year, only 93% uh, of our members did not reach that $1,200 prescription drug maximum. And only 1.5% of our members reached that $2,000 prescription drug maximum. And those are typically the people who are taking either biologic or specialty medications, so very expensive medications, they will reach that prescription drug maximum under our plan. Next slide, please, Jan, thank you. And this plan offers a lot of the same uh, coverage that you saw in those charts earlier with the comprehensive plans, uh, from the accidental dental to mobility scooters, uh, all of those things are covered. This provides a good comparison of what we provide through the core EHC plans and the enhanced EHC plans. The core plans offer $425 every two years for frames and lenses. The enhanced plans bump that up to $550 every two years. Hearing aids of $1,300 every three years goes up to $1,500 every three years with the enhanced plans. The paramedical practitioners combined annual maximum of $1,200 through the core plans goes up to $1,400 through the enhanced plans. And these enhanced plans offer some coverage for lifestyle prescription drugs. 
50% coverage for erectile dysfunction and hair loss medications up to $150 per year. It's been my experience that as long as you use at least two of those higher maximums, you come out ahead in the end. Uh, you come out ahead from paying the higher premium amounts that come with the enhanced plans. And of course, all of our extended healthcare plans include a number of medical devices and aids, including a few items that are not provided through other competitive plans. Things like power chair lifts. Uh, if you're not familiar with what those are, they help lift you up from a seating position onto your feet. The whole chair actually lifts up if you have weak uh, legs or knees. Uh, we cover walkers, mobility scooters, um, we also cover vaccinations. So one of the top drugs that are claimed by our members is Shingrix, the shingles vaccination. Taking into account the age cohort of our members, it's a very popular vaccination. It's a very effective vaccination. And the Alberta government doesn't pay for any of it. So we cover the Shingrix vaccination as well as other vaccinations at 80%. Next slide, please, Jen. And the emergency travel coverage. As I mentioned, this is available through those three enhanced coverage benefits that we provided, the comprehensive plans, as well as our total health and ultimate health plans. Our emergency travel plan is without doubt the best emergency travel coverage available in Canada for retirees. We cover 100% of eligible expenses up to a lifetime maximum of $5 million. That $5 million amount is a little bit of a red herring. The highest claim we've ever had is $840,000, but our underwriter does include that annual life or the lifetime maximum, just in case. Uh, if anybody did actually incur that much in uh, claims, it would be very rare uh, once in a lifetime thing that uh, our provider has seen, but we do have it there just in case. We will cover every trip you take over the course of a year, up to 92 days per trip. In order to reset that 92-day clock, all you need to do is return back to your province of residence. Uh, each person who is covered must return back, and each person must prove that they were back. The way we recommend you do that is for each person to buy a coffee uh, with their own credit card that proves that they were, had returned back to their province of residence. You don't need to submit it. The only time this, that we would need to see it is in the event of a claim. You just need to prove that you're within that 92 day window in case you do need to make a claim. Uh, some of our other members will actually spend their winters down in California or Arizona. They will watch for a really good seat sale and they will fly back typically to Calgary uh, land in the airport, they just need to keep a copy of their boarding pass, and then they can return back uh, on the very next flight if they wish. Now, that isn't always a lot of fun. Uh, traveling can be difficult, and it, it, it can be hard on a person. So if they want, they can take part in our supplementary travel coverage. It's available in 15-day units, up to 212 days of maximum coverage, and if you do purchase it in advance, if you end up returning home early, any unused 15-day units, uh, those premiums will be returned to you. So for example, if you buy two 15-day units to extend your trip up to 122 days, so the base 92 days plus 30 days of supplementary travel coverage, but you end up coming, don't, coming home on day 100, you have already used a portion of your first 15 day unit. So those premiums are spent, you can't get anything back, but you haven't used any of your second 15 day unit. So all of those premiums would be returned back to you. Something else which is really unique about our travel plan coverage, we have built in trip cancellation, interruption and delay insurance up to $10,000 per person per incident. And these, the, the reasons for claiming trip cancellation could be health related, uh, your own health if you become ill before your trip, or if the person you were going to visit on your trip becomes ill, those are considered eligible. But we also cover a lot of other items which uh, you wouldn't expect to be covered. For example, if your home is damaged prior to leaving on your trip, 
that's a reason for uh, trip cancellation to pay out any money that you had spent on your trip already. There's no deductible. And as we've already mentioned, we cover your pre-existing conditions. We don't have a stability clause. Always be wary of emergency travel plans where you see a stability clause indicated. Uh, that essentially gives that travel provider permission to not cover your claims because they will look for reasons to not cover your claim in the event of a, a sudden illness or injury. So as long as your injury or illness is considered sudden and unforeseen, you didn't have any issues with your health in the time leading up to your trip, then that claim is going to be covered. We also have one more plan that we're just in the process of rolling out right now. We call it R to RX. R to RX is actually two things. It is first and foremost a pharmacy. It's a brick and mortar pharmacy. It's located in the Arda office on the corner of 156th Street and 137th Ave here in Edmonton. And we are going to be opening the pharmacy in the next month or two. It's currently under construction. We're very close to the end. And we're really excited to be able to provide pharmacy services to our members. For those members who have agreed to use R to RX primarily for their maintenance medications for chronic conditions, we have a plan especially designed for them. This plan offers higher maximums and higher coverage levels than all of our other plans uh, and provides very reasonable premiums. Uh, if you get your drugs through R to RX, and this could be acute care or uh, for chronic medication, uh, sorry, chronic condition medication, we will cover those drugs at 100%. If you have an acute care medication that you want to get right away, uh, you don't want to wait for the one to three days of delivery that it's going to take to get an R to RX drug to you. Uh, we can pro provide 80% coverage if you're getting that drug through your corner pharmacy. Uh, we are a mail order. Uh, pharmacy, for the most part, you can come into the pharmacy and get your drugs directly from us. But if you reside anywhere else in Alberta, you can have your drugs delivered right to your doorstep. Uh, if you are getting your chronic medications through a corner pharmacy, it's not through R to RX, we're only going to cover it at 50%. And we're not going to top up any other coverage that you may have. So we're really geared toward providing maintenance medications to our members. And that's essentially the agreement that you make with us when you participate in R to RX, that you will allow us to dispense those maintenance medications for you. And we will deliver those to your door without any additional delivery charges. Um, but again, if you need an acute care medication, if you have an infection and you want to look after it right away, you don't want to wait one to three days to get that drug you can go down to your corner pharmacy and you'll still have that drug covered at 80%. Uh, maximum acquisition cost pricing does not apply. It applies for all of our other plans, but does not apply with the R to RX plan. We provide up to $2,500 per year prescription drug maximum for each covered person. And this plan also has embedded lifestyle prescription drugs. Those are all covered at 80% for hair loss, erectile dysfunction, and weight loss medications. And we don't have an inside limit for those drugs. They're covered under the $2,500 per year annual maximum for all drugs. We provide 90% coverage for your other extended healthcare benefits under R to RX. Um, paramedical practitioners is $1,400 combined per year. Hearing aids of $1,500 every three years. Accidental dental of $5,000 per year, orthopedic shoes, $750 every three years. The diabetic supplies maximum goes up from $1,750 per year to $2,000 per year. And also, we include that same emergency travel plan available. R to RX is either available with coverage or without coverage. It's entirely up to you. So you can see we actually provide better coverage than our previous Cadillac plan, the ultimate health plan, uh, but the premiums are very close to what we cover under the total health plan. So better coverage and lower premiums. It's a win-win for the members. 
We also have optional dental through our build your own plans. So those plans that are designed for people age 65 and over, unlike the comprehensive plans, which have embedded dental care, dental care for the age 65 and over plans are completely optional. You can take health without dental, you can take dental without health, it's completely up to you. And again, we have options. Under the option A, which is the most comprehensive plan we offer, uh, we provide 80% coverage for basic and preventative benefits, 80% uh, for minor restorative, and 50% for major restorative. We do not have a maximum for the basic and preventative. The minor restorative maximum is $750 per year, and a combined annual maximum for major services only of $1,600. Option B is the same as option A, but doesn't include any major restorative coverage. And option C is the same as option B, but pays at a lower level. It provides 65% coverage instead of 80% coverage. And with that, I'll turn it back over to Jen. Thank you. Um, so as I mentioned before, we have um, a relatively new um, website, artabenefits.net. And at artabenefits.net, um, you can scroll down um, about three quarters of the page, um, click on the AMA logo, logo, and this will take you to the AMA landing page. Um, and here you can view the eligibility, um, and then you can start to build a benefits plan that you, know, you think might work best for your life. Um, you'll be asked a couple questions to help guide you along the way. Um, whether you um, are 65 and over, whether you want travel, wh whether you want R to RX. Um, so it'll kind of help build a benefits plan for you. Um, and then you can view the rates um, that are associated um, to the benefits plan that you did choose. Um, so this site allows you to kind of play, play around with all of our plans available uh, and take a look to see which one that you want. And then ultimately um, you can apply online um, and you can submit all of your um, information that way. So it's an easy website um, to help guide your way. So artofbenefits.net, visit it, click on your logo um, and play around with um, all of our offerings. So just a, a couple things to kind of close off the presentation, um, just to kind of reiterate why the Art of Retiree Benefits Plan is a plan of choice amongst our members or anyone who is eligible for the plan. Um, our premiums are more than competitive. We have not increased our premiums in over um, nine years. Um, in fact, last year we did decrease our premiums in the public sector by about 7%. Um, you know, just know that any premiums that do come into our organization go back into administrating the plan and go to, you know, adding to our member offering um, because we are a not-for-profit association. Um, when Gary kind of talked about those prescription drug maximums, um, they do appear to be a little bit low at the beginning, but just know that only 93% of our members um, do not reach that $1,200 drug maximum um, as our build your own plans um, have been built to work in tandem with the Alberta coverage for seniors plan. Um, so just make sure that you're looking at all of those um, numbers and just know that um, that does stretch a long way. And um, most important, um, which we're really proud of, that our travel has no pre-existing conditions or stability clauses. Um, I won't talk about that anymore as I feel like we've mentioned it a bunch of times. Um, so just a couple things to remember. Um, make sure that you apply to ARDA about four to six weeks before losing your group benefits coverage, but it's most important to apply within that 60 days of losing your group coverage if you wanna take part in one of our plans that offer emergency travel coverage. Um, you can join one of our plans that do not offer emergency travel coverage, um, HealthWise, HealthWise Plus, or ARDA RX without travel at any time. Um, if you are outside that 60 day window, but just, you know, it's always best to kind of add the travel at the beginning if you need it, um, rather than adding it later, because if you do apply outside that 60 day window, you would be subject to fill out a medical questionnaire. Um, you can move from one of our comprehensive plans. So those plans that are built for under age 65 um, very easily to a build your own plan. It's just one um, application form indicating which plan you want to switch to. Um, so Arda will let you know that once you turn 65, if you get close to that age, that um, you will need to switch plans. 
Um, it's very easy. It's just one form. And the date that you want it to change is the date that it will change. We don't have to wait or um, there's no waiting period. Um, our comprehensive plans, so those under age 65 do include dental coverage. Um, however, our build your own plans, as well as the R to RX, R to RX plans, do not include dental. The dental is not built into the plans. So if you want, you can add um, our a, a dental coverage A, B, or C. Um, you can add them right away when you need coverage, or you can add them at a later date. You can have dental, just dental and standalone, or just extended health care. Um, entirely up to you. Um, total health is a very popular plan amongst our members. Um, however, we are noticing that the R to RX plus travel plan is become a very is becoming a very popular pl plan um, to our members um, across Alberta. Um, you must be an Alberta resident to take part in any of our R to RX plans, um, but we do deliver um, anywhere in Alberta. So just know that total health and R to RX plus travel are two of our most popular plans. Um, again, visit artofbenefits.net for any rates or a plan summary. Um, if you want to enroll or have any questions, you can always call our member services team at 1-855-444-ARDA, um, or you can visit arda.net. Um, we know that there's a lot of things that you need to think about before retiring. Um, ARDA tries to make um, our members or potential members' lives a little bit easier by um, offering a really great benefits plan, um, offering some really great advice to, um, you know, different members and potential members. So just make wise choices, make informed decisions. Um, ARDA is always here to help with those um, questions and help those decisions to be made. Um, if you have any questions after this presentation, please feel free to email jhope at arda.net and I will be happy to answer any questions you may have or I will call upon Gary to help me answer those questions. Um, or again, if you would like an enrollment kit, um, I can send you a physical copy by mail or I can send you a digital copy by email. So um, just let me know at jhope at arda.net. Um, so that's all um, that we had today to present to you. Um, if you have any questions, um, Gary and I can help answer them live or type them out to you. Um, if not, I want to thank you for joining us today. Um, and any questions in the future, let me know. And this presentation will be um, uploaded to our YouTube channel um, either today or tomorrow if you would like to go back and revisit. So thank you, everyone. We will stick around. If you do have any questions, please type them in the Q&A box uh, located at the bottom of your screen this one live we okay. did just get a, a question how long does it take to increase or decrease uh, or to switch plans uh, uh, we can do it immediately we do need something in writing if you're covered under one of our current plans all you need to do is send us a change request form and we can do that immediately there are some rules around switching plans uh, if you want to increase your plan for example if you take total health but now you wanted uh, the ultimate health, you wish you had those higher maximums, you can do that immediately uh, and without restriction. However, if you do increase to one of those higher plans, you are then locked in for 24 months before you can reduce your coverage back down to total health. The same is true for dental care. If you start with option C and wanna move up to option B or option A, you can do so, the change is immediate. But again, you're locked in for 24 months before you can move your coverage back down. Uh, that is to prevent against selection against the plan. Um, there is one qualifying provision, however, if you want to move to, from one of the plans which do not include travel, so health-wise or health-wise plus, and you want to move to one of the plans which do include travel, so total health or ultimate health, if it's been more than 60 days since you lost group benefits coverage, you do need to submit medical evidence of insurability. So you cannot automatically add travel if it's been more than 60 days since you lost group benefits coverage. There's another question about how ARDA retiree plan compares with the Sun Life retiree plan. I can tell you that our travel is undoubtedly better than the Sun Life plan. The rest of the plans uh, would likely be higher in each area. We probably have some better benefits than Sun Life. Sun Life probably has some better coverage than ours. I'm not completely familiar with the Sun Life plan, 
But if you're interested in seeing how we do compare with some other competitive plans, we have a plan comparison available online. We don't name the competitor plans, but we do make it available just so you can see for yourself what else is offered in the marketplace. And that uh, benefits comparison is provided on artabenefits.net. You can just, if you go on artabenefits.net, um, if you scroll to the footer, um, that is where the comparison um, lives. Um, there's, is there a website which reviews the customer service of the travel provider Allianz? I do believe that on their website, there are reviews or you can always um, visit um, Google and I'm sure that they do have re some reviews on that, on that site. I am not entirely sure, to be honest with you. Gary, do you know? I think Google reviews would probably be the best part. Um, uh, and look at Pileons, look up other travel providers as well. Um, most travel insurance providers are very similar with regard to uh, their policies and procedures. Uh, that being said, when you are reading them, look for things like pre-existing conditions, stability clauses. Uh, we don't use the standard Allianz wording. We use our own custom wording and they adjudicate the plan according to our contract. Um, there is a question, is counseling covered? Um, yes, counseling is covered um, sort of in a variety of ways. Um, um, psychological services and counseling um, is available under your paramedical um, maximum. So that combined annual maximum um, counseling is covered there. Um, we, have also, we also have a member um, assistance plan and we've partnered with Inkblot. Um, and Inkblot um, offers our members five hours of individual counseling, as well as five hours of couple couples counseling. And that is on top of your um, paramedical um, practitioner's um, maximum. So you are covered in a variety of ways for counseling um, if you join ARDA. Something else I hadn't mentioned is with regard to COVID coverage. Uh, that is a hot topic right now in emergency travel. And we didn't cover COVID while a level three travel advisory was in place, but that changed starting February 1st. Uh, from February 1st forward, we cover all health-related COVID expenses, even if a level three or level four travel advisory is in place. Uh, most other plans do not cover COVID, especially if there's a level four travel advisory in place but health-related COVID expenses are covered under our plan. Now, keep in mind, uh, non-emergent benefits are not covered by the plan. For example, if you are uh, needing to quarantine at your destination, if you contract COVID, but you are asymptomatic or very minimal symptoms, and you are not allowed on the plane to return to your province of residence, and if you need to quarantine, the additional costs for quarantine or any additional meal expenses are not covered by the plan because the plan is uh, for covering emergency expenses only. If you are uh, simply quarantining, that's not considered an emergency, so it's not covered. If you contract COVID and you are hospitalized, obviously those expenses would be covered by the plan. Um, there's just one more question here. Can you move from the province and stay a member of the plan? Um, yes, your ARDA retiree benefits plan will follow you um, if you decide to move. Um, the only province where um, it will not um, follow you is Quebec. So if you decide to move to BC, your plan will follow you um, or the East Coast, whatever it is. Um, that is definitely a bonus with the ARDA retiree benefits plan is that you can move away from Alberta and still be covered by ARDA. To anywhere else in Canada except Quebec, as, yes. as Jen mentioned. So thank you everyone for your time. If you do think of any questions after the session is over, please send them to jhope.net and or jhope at arda.net <laughs> and she will respond to them right away. Okay, thank you and have a wonderful day. Thanks everyone.